get the step stool, get on it. So our next goal is when we get on, most people want to get on and just walk around the edge of the ring. This is not challenging to a horse. It gives them too much time to have a look around. They don't need to be doing that. So you can use your same cones as goals for you. So I can make circles around my cones. I can make figure eights around my cones, concentrating or at least noticing where my sit bones are, do I feel them? Are they evenly when I'm going straight? We can just weave through. Around. These are the basics that I beg people to do and I don't quite think they understand. When you're trying to get a new horse to be your partner, they have to feel like you're comfortable telling them what to do. People want to get on and have the horse do it themselves. Well, it's not. It, it's like our car. If you don't tell a car where to go or what to do, you'll crash or you won't leave your driveway. So you have to have things you want to do and things you want to accomplish. Now, it doesn't mean you can't go straight. So when you make your your um, triangle or your your X of code. You can go around the outside of the cones and make straight lines there. So I'm heading to that cone way over there. So I'm going to get my straight line here. to wanting something for a horse to learn you. So I need you to start giving yourself goals by having something visually to attain. I want you to be able to go around all these cones. Just walk. If you can't get this control down, there's no reason for speed. Speed without control equals a crash. It's not fun. It's not entertaining, but when you talk to me about getting George, you said, I want a challenge. So here's your challenge. Maybe simple, but it's harder than you think. If you don't, if you get lost, so let's say I get here and you're giving, Denise is giving you a lesson or something and you forget the cone. Look, you can stop your horse, you can back your horse up, and then you can go back to your cone. Don't always think forward's the only answer. You have to be able to control everything about where you're going and at what speed. As you do this more and more, you will find that you can create different games, You'll be able to go faster and do this. I've laid them out quite far apart, um, depending on what you're in, what's in your arena. But going around the edge of the arena allows the horse to just be on autopilot. There is no autopilot. This is not a plane. You can't plug in a destination and it do it. You can't do it. You have to say, I want you to go here. I want you to go here. I want you to go over there. So you have to have time, you know, plans. Now suddenly he's more interested. He's going to relax, not be looking out to see if something's going to attack him while you're just meandering around. Or just being not focused. Because I know Denise is there helping you, and that's good. I like her. She'll do a great job. But we have 
to get you to start learning to focus on something. And I, through the years as I've dealt with clients that are getting a challenging animal or own a challenging animal or wanting to get better at things or learn new disciplines or something like that, it's much easier for me to give you something visually to try to attain than for me to just say go around the edge of the circle. Too much can happen. And you don't, you know, what are you doing between there? That's what you have to get used to. You should be able to turn, stop, go forward, go backwards, anything on your horse every time you get on it. So this will keep it smaller, keep it more entertaining for you. You can lay out diagrams. You're kind of a planner. So, you know, make a plan of how you want to do it when you get on. Then if he gets upset about something, let's say something spooks him and he kind of jumps inside, you go, get back to work. We were going over here. I don't have time for that. Because he's asking you a question. When horses flinch or do a small jerk or they jump to one side or something, they're telling you they notice something and they want to know what to do. Is it dangerous? Should you run away from it? But if you don't answer them, they don't think you're in charge. So you have to be more interested in telling him where to go. What do I want out of the deal? I want you to go this way. I want you to go that way. You notice he suddenly found something over there to stare at. And when I turned him, notice his ears changed, so he quit doing that. He's not like, ooh, what's over there? That's not his job. His job is to do what I say when I say it. So he has to notice I'm here all the time because I can change my mind at any moment. And he needs to be willing to offer that, oh, you want this? Oh, we're doing this now. Oh, okay. So let's say I go here and I go, oh, I want to go here. Nope, change my mind. I'd rather go here. As long as I stay balanced, myself, your body on top of the horse, you can change the direction anywhere you want. Okay, so that's my little help because I can't get down to see you this week. And um, hopefully I'll see you next Sunday.